We haven't seen Grandma Jenkins in over two months. Yeah, boy, boy, am I excited. She's in room 209. Right over there. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Oh, right here. Grandma Jenkins? Grandma. Grandma. Sylvie, this is in the right room. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Do you know where Dolores Jenkins lives? No, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go look. Thank you. Ah, no, no, no. Stay there. Have you two ever heard of Helen Sawyer Hobbs? You look about just the right age to be learning about her. No. Oh. Well, boy, do I have a story for you, chickling. <laughs> Let me just go get that technical device they gave me. Can we leave? Where did you get that from? Oh, um, mm -hmm. stole it from the office. <laughs> oh, oh. I see. are you sure you don't know where Mrs. Jenkins lives? I'm sure, I'm sure. Now, you guys are going to love this story. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. What is your... It all started back when you were both so you can not even born. Yeah. What you're saying now? It was a long time on a warm, sunny day in Lowell, Massachusetts. August 1st, 1995, to be exact, the day our friend, a very important scientist, was born. Who's that? Her name was Helen. Helen Sawyer Hobbs. <gasps> wow. One day, she did not go to want to go to bed. Just like you kids, she wanted to look at the stars. stars. The stars. Yes, the stars. All bright up in the shining sky. And at that moment... Helen knew that she would really want to become an astronomer. So, as she grew up, she started to let go of her interest in stars and entered Mount Hel Haloki College with the intention of studying chemistry. That's what she wants to study. Oh, yes. <laughs> but she changed her mind. Oh, her mind. And went back to astronomy. She went to Harvard of University with... Cannon and Harlow shaped on her clusters. Soon after the obtained her soon after she obtained her doctorate in nineteen thirty one. But just a year before that she fell in love with Frank. <laughs> oh, that is just darling. She Frank was a cutie. I think you two must have Google images him and you know uh -uh. <laughs> and then they eventually had three kids in Victoria, British Columbia. Sally, David, and Jane. Do you know anyone who lives in Victoria, Columbia? No. Anne Helen. Oh, Anne Helen lives there. Uh -huh. You could be related to Helen Sawyer Hobb. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's long gone. She's a great woman. Anyway, Helen started her work on variable global stars clusters while in Victoria. She even developed a technique for measuring the distance of galaxies between the Milky Way. Beyond the Milky Way. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my favorite candy bar. Wow. I... <laughs> well, she... okay, Sylvie. <laughs> You'll get over your stutter. <laughs> well, she took pictures of stars and cataloged the colloquial changes in their brightness, which she then used to calculate their distance. Later, her and her family moved to Ontario. Helen soon became an assistant at the Dunlap Observatory, where she worked until her death. <laughs> Did, you <know? laughs> Did you know Helen? Did you know Helen? Very well. In the meantime, she taught the University of Toronto and became a professor. In 1956, she, she was announced as the program director for astronomy for the National Science Foundation. <laughs> People who considered her work expert on the night sky. Unfortunately, Frank, her husband, died of a sudden death in 1951. Then she remarried Bill Priestley, who also suddenly died in 1988. Sadly, our friend Helen died of a heart attack on January 28th.
great story, story, wasn't it, Savannah? I Sorry. didn't think it was going to be relevant to Grandma Jenkins if you taught me a life. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't really know your Grandma Jenkins. Well, it was a pleasure. It's very nice meeting you both. Goodbye, Sylvia and Savannah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the story. Anytime. <laughs> No, rub it. That's the worst thing to do. Oh, this must be it. Grandma Jenkins. Jenkins. Hi, girls. What have you been doing talking to that lunatic lady that lives next door? Next door? Savannah, you're older. You should know better. Grandma, you got it all wrong. She's such a nice lady, and she told us a jolly good story. Oh, I'm sorry for judging. She just never comes out of her house, so I guess I should go over and apologize. Maybe she can tell me some of her stories. That's the right attitude, Grandma. We'd love to hear it again. Okay, let's go over. Um, they said that they didn't know. They said that it's I can't believe I can't remember anything. I must be getting really old. Hi, we bought our grandmoms. We're wondering if we want to go out to lunch. I remember. Who are you? We were Sylvia and Savannah. You told us the story of Helen Slayer Hodge. Then we're inviting you to go to lunch if you want to come. Maybe you should just stay. We'll come another time. Bye. Wait! Have you ever heard the story of Helen Sawyer Hodge? Stars, stars.